What's up guys, this is going to be a tile roof. This uh, <clears throat> wall needs to be prepped before the stacco guys come, so I'm going to install the the Z-bar. Z-bar is the, the metal that goes underneath the stacco and it goes on top of the on top of the roof, on top of the roof to wall, on top of the tile pan. Uh, <clears throat> when you're doing a new construction like this, make sure that your paper falls underneath the, the Z-bar or on top of the Z-bar backing. This uh, piece of wood right here is called Z-bar backing. It's one by four. It's three and a half inches wide by whatever length, okay? And that one is to <clears throat> keep the metal the straight and uh, and then I can tuck my uh, my metal flashing underneath the Z bar. Also, today I didn't have the flashings for the pipe, but since it's gonna rain, so you're gonna have to do this when you don't have no no flashings. Okay, put a piece of uh, a skirt. It's called a skirt. It's a piece of uh, uh, the same material, felt. Tuck it underneath. For one area, one area leave it on an angle. It should look something like this. So when the water hits, it's gonna come and it's gonna drip over here so it's not gonna go inside the hole. A little bit of water is gonna go eventually but not much, okay? Most of the water is just gonna run off the paper and run down to the thing. When I come back, I'm gonna install the primary uh, flashing underneath. Nobody told me about it, this is my first time here so that's why I didn't bring it. But anyway, today I'm gonna show you how to do the zebra. Right. Make sure that you nail the Z bar on top on the two by four stud, and you don't have to put a lot of nails. If you just put three nails on one piece of a like a footer, and then this side you cut it, this side you fold it, this one you fold it down like this. See, and this one you can you can open it any side. And this one that comes on the on the slope goes on top of the one that's on the bottom. And then right here you overlap it and then you get your pencil, you mark it where you're gonna cut. And then you flip it around and here you got the cut the marks. You see? I'm gonna cut here. here you can cut this one I think this one is just gonna fold it to the front okay since this piece is gonna go hidden so I just fold it like this see it this on top of this this one goes on top of this So it goes like this. But before I put it put it together, yeah, I gotta put cooking, okay? Cooking underneath there. You gotta mark where the other one is gonna overlap. So you know where to put cooking. Okay. I'm gonna get your cooking in. And uh, apply some clear. You can use clear silicone so that way you don't have to <coughs> so that nobody sees that. Make sure you squeeze it, the cooking. Okay, so that way you really Cooking and socks. You have to cut more. Let's see. 
Okay. And then now you put it in place. When it's applied, it should look something like this. It's clear. So make sure underneath this one there's a lot of khaki. Because this taco is gonna finish right here. So if some water goes, the paper is gonna go on top of this. So if water runs behind this taco, it's gonna run over here. It's gonna find its way inside there. Make sure everything is waterproof. And then later on, I gotta, I'm gonna waterproof the metal that goes here. Okay. As you can see, I put a lot of khaki right there where the the other seabar uh, is gonna interlock with the seabar on the bottom over there. I didn't put any khaki in because it's on an angle, so it doesn't really matter. Because the slope is going down, so the water is gonna slide down. But right here it needs it because it needs it. <laughs> you see when I push it, the silicone comes out. So clean it out. Go like this, okay? And that's it. And I'm just gonna tuck my uh, metals underneath the zebra when I come back. And that's it. It's ready for the stucco guys. So this is a simple tutorial about Seabar. Right later when I come, right there on the corner I'm gonna put some uh, mastic and then before I install the tile pan. This is a simple roof. It's gonna be a tile roof. Just put two layers of felt. I'm missing the flashing but uh, it took me about two hours. One and a half hour for the paper and then half an hour for the Seabar. If somebody takes a whole day, that means he's cheating or he doesn't know what he's doing. So, if you're new at this, it should take you at least half a day, but no more than that. And that's at a super slow pace. But if you know what you're doing, uh, a journeyman should take about two to three hours max, three hours max. But no more than that. It's only six squares. C bar, flashings, tile pan, roof to wall. So, about six hours, yeah, that's fine. But no more than that, okay? Don't cheat. Thank you guys. I'll see you in the next video. I need to put cake in on that, showing a nail. So I put cake in and then paint it. 